guys. So welcome to week seven. We are going to be doing uh, or talking about graphing and the rectangular coordinate system. So um, this week you're reading chapter six. There are actually six sections in chapter six. You're only required to go through five of them. The last one is about applications of linear equations. So those are about real world problems. So if you're wondering where you might need these in the real world, that would be um, something to look at. You'll find that a lot of things are actually linear equations, such as the equation that you use to determine your um, how much money you're making on your paycheck if you're paid by the hour. Anything that's like by the hour or even like miles per gallon, how much it costs with miles per gallon, um, that's also linear. So a lot of things in real life that you work with are linear. So I do recommend checking out that last section, but you are only required to read the first five. So we've got the rectangular coordinate system which just introduces you to our, how we graph and what it looks like. Then we've got linear equations of two variables, uh, slope of a line and rate of change. And that is really important because a lot of things that we talk about miles per gallon are technically slopes. Um, anything where you have something per something else, price per ounce, you know, dollars per hour, that is all considered a slope or rate of change. So. Any situation where you're dealing with those can be written as a linear equation. So that's a really important section. Uh, we've got 3.4, which is slope intercept form of an equation, and then 3.5, which is point slope form. Um, those are helpful for you to do the discussion. So this week, we're actually going to have a math based discussion where you are going to be basically taking real data and then creating a line and then seeing does that line allow you to make predictions. There's a lot of uh, uses of, of linear equations in the world is with statistics or with um, data where you're doing things called linear regression where you just have a set of points and then you're trying to get an equation that you can use to predict and most of the time we do these with lines. So for our discussion this week we're going to be looking at um, whether your forearm which is basically from your um, elbow to your wrist can predict your height. You know whether there's a relationship between that and your height and you would think that there should be you know, if everybody's in proportion. So that's what we're going to be looking at this week. And that's just one of the many uses of linear equations. So really important week. Um, I'm sure you're going to see how this is useful in real life. Um, a lot of people usually have fun with that discussion because they can actually work with other people. Um, so you can get data from like a family member or, you know, if you want to get data from a classmate, that's fine too. Um, so yeah, so this is you know, I, I hope that you enjoy this week. We're almost done. Uh, we've got this week and week eight, so we're, we're almost there. So of course, if you guys have any questions, you know how to reach me. And, um, I really hope that you do enjoy this, this week as much as I do. <laughs> and, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.